All right, so right now I'm actually bed fishing. Uh, a lot of controversy surrounding bed fishing and whether or not you know you should do it. Um, I don't do it a whole lot, but uh, when I do find fish up shallow like this, it's about 60 degree water, so I know the largemouth are getting ready to spawn. Um, a lot of these females are just making their bed, so it's not like they're actually spawning yet. It's not like they've already laid the eggs and they're they're guarding them. So um, I feel comfortable with with fishing for those, you know, trying to catch those fish. Um, right now, what I'm doing is I'm uh, using my solar bats. These are polarized glasses. I'll tell you what, I can see fish from 10, 15, almost 20 feet away. If uh, if you get up on your deck and you actually kind of scan the horizon, you can usually see them swimming around. And so I've spotted the female with my solar bats. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to a, a creature bait, or I might even go to a white football head jig, and um, might actually try and get them uh, get her to bite that way. And and by changing to a really bright colored you know lure, whether it's a jig or a creature bait, it just helps you see it better. And uh, you know, when she picks it up in her mouth, you'll you'll easily be able to tell because you won't be able to see your lure. And so, um, you know, catch her, get her right back in there, and move on. And uh, you know, we'll we'll keep working on her and see if we can't catch her. So as you can see here, I have a uh, it's a white Strike King football jig with a pack of chunk trailer, PB and J color. Um, doesn't necessarily have to match. I just need that white skirt so I can tell when she picks it up. The more that a female moves her fins, right now she's kind of going back and forth. She's getting agitated. So you can actually read their language. She made a move on it right as I pulled it away from her. So I think in another two or three casts we might have her. talking about right there side fishing with them solar bats Just shy of five. Beautiful, beautiful fish. That's what I'm talking about. Almost 45 minutes of work. And that, my friends, is why you have a pair of these. Check them out, solarbat.com. These particular models are the Knox. I think they're uh, you know, a great style to them. Really, really nice wrap. Doesn't want to let that, you know, that glare in through the sides um, or through the bottom. And uh, get yourself a really bright jig, creature bait. Get yourself some polarized glasses like these solar bats. Be really, really patient, I'll tell you what. Just be very, very patient. Um, the more agitated the fish is gonna become, the more likely she is to bite. And uh, you know, there was a male there too, and I was really, really trying to get her. Um, you know, she's still loaded, and so it looks like, just from my experience, it looks like they're almost two weeks out from spawning, and so, um, 
you know, for this particular body of water, 60 degrees, you know, the magic mark is 65. So that's about right. And, uh, you know, it, it's a great, great thing to do is catch those females, take a quick picture, get them back in the water. She went right back to her nest and, uh, you know, that bed and, and she'll be fine. So um, that's how you bed fish. And uh, just remember, be patient.